Yeah, it costs a lot of money. Hello there, everybody. I'm Dev Leary. And I'm Penny Ellis. Hey. Hey. They're cheering for her and not me. <laughs> and this is uh, Big Brother's Little Brother. It's day 20. They've had absolutely yes. no contact with the outside world whatsoever for 489 hours. Oh, exactly. No idea the headline news. No, no idea who's Prime Minister. Mm, no idea that Liam, Liam and Nicole have moved house. And you know, I don't have an idea about that either. Who are they? Uh, OK. Uh, <laughs> but headlines today are still the fact that Stuart and Paul are up for a public vote on Friday, yep. uh, the repercussions of the House uh, mm. uh, and, and how they're dealing with that. And uh, <laughs> They each received four nominations. Here's a quick reminder of who nominated them and why. Yeah. Paul is a nice guy, but I'm not really on the same wavelength as him. Some of the things he does tends to annoy me, and it bring he brings out the worst. He brings out my worst points. Paul is the person. Is another person that I get on least well with, although I get on with Paul. I do not get on as well with Paul as I do with other people in the house. My reason for choosing Stuart is I think he's finding it hard to mix with the group and, and also sort of communicate. And also I think his main focus is getting a tan. I think he's changed um, a little bit. Now I've noticed um, different characteristics and I think he's a little bit more competitive um, than the rest of us and it might cause a few arguments down the line. I find he is a competitive guy and I feel that sometimes causes problems within the group. He's very competitive. That must God. have been a horrible moment when you had to go into the diary room and actually nominate, yeah. you know, who was who was going to who was going to go out. I mean, how, yeah. what went through your mind when you went in there? Well, I think when I, well, because we'd only been we'd only been in two weeks, and all of us still felt quite that was a very serious room. I think now people are finding it a safe room, cathartic room. Yeah. Which, yeah. So now I think it's very difficult. It must be more difficult for them now. But then I think it was a little bit easier because it was more of a sort of scary room anyway. So we just felt like quite formal in there. So we just I felt quite formal. I just said what I had to say. Okay. So you guys know that Paul and Stuart are up. For eviction. This is the moment Big Brother announced who is facing eviction this week to the housemates. This is Big Brother. Here we go. It is now time to announce the results of this week's nominations. My pits. The housemates nominated to leave Big Brother House are in alphabetical order oh. Paul and Stuart. Oh, 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 oh. So, Stuart. What are you doing? What's the matter? Oh, that moment. Oh, really? it turns my belly. Why was it so bad? Ever... I mean, obviously, you got nominated. Yeah, but... just your name. You suddenly hear your name. They pause and they take their time and then they say something else and then they say your name. Did you? And they didn't put it in alphabetical order that in the first Did week. you genuinely think it was going to be you when, when it all was? Oh, I don't know. It's just horrible. You just hear your name and okay. it's just horrible. So, that's what happened yesterday. I feel but sorry. But today, for it's. It's Ryan's birthday! Yeah. 23! Yeah. Oh, I thought one of those. We don't even know him we're celebrating. That must, that's I... how much we love him. Everyone loves him. Everyone loves him. Yes. He's fantastic. We don't look sinister at all, do we, everyone? Yes, indeed. Uh, Brian Patrick Downing was born at 2 a.m. in Dublin 23 years ago in the year of our Lord, 1979. There's a little picture of the big bubba. Oh, oh yeah, bubba, bubba. Oh, he's a isn't he lovely? Much, has he? Mm. Still cuddly and lovely. It's birthday. Uh, what I'm happened when it was Helen's birthday? In well, of Helen, uh, well, I mean, she's very generous. I really give her top marks for that, giving up those Gucci shoes and the handbag. Exactly. But party, that was now, fantastic. A short time ago, Brian himself was faced with his own birthday dilemma. Big Brother offered Brian a teddy bear's picnic or a roast supper in exchange for his beloved cuddly toys, Mr. Bear and Mr. Cow, mm. uh, who he'd had since he was six months old. Uh, we can now reveal exclusively that this is what he chose. We've got Mr. Ken, Mr. Bow! Yeah. yeah. So that means he, he had the, uh, the teddy bear's picnic, which, which went off today at 4.35, and he's got a lovely roast dinner coming later on. So we have to take very good care of very these. Good care. Very good care. Let me Absolutely. have them. Let me have them. OK. Um, oh, I feel so bad about that. That is that. mean. That is so mean. Do I feel bad about that? Yes, you do. OK, sorry. I hope you do. We'll be going to confession oh, later on, don't worry. So, uh, Brian will be partying, and when he parties, he dances like no other. You take yeah. a look at this. Oh. Keep a shade of blue, and there's nothing I can do. You're so far, far away. You're so far away. 
Sorry, I feel dreadful about this. Right, let me just get them back, because if someone did this to my teddy, who is actually imaginatively just entitled Ted, then I'd be mortified about it. OK, uh, now, as you can hear there, Brian, massive big, big fan of Steps, so we're delighted to have uh, lovely Lisa from Steps on the line. Hello, Lisa. Hello, how are you? Oh, very well, thanks. How's your life? Very good, thank you. Excellent stuff. <laughs> are you impressed that he knows all your moves, doesn't he? I know, I've been watching. I yeah. don't know if people know, but I'm a massive, massive fan oh, yeah. of Big Brother. I've been watching it continuously. I've actually got an E4 as well, so I've been watching it, you know, all the time. Hey, you're our demographic. Uh, <laughs> OK, uh, now you got a, have you got a spectacular message for the birthday boy himself, then? I have. I'd love to say to Brian, I wish I was in there with you, because, you know, you look like you're having a great time. Just enjoy it, have a fantastic birthday, and maybe we can meet up when you get out. Nice touch, Lisa. I've been waiting for you to say that to me for five years. <laughs> um, would you actually like to do Celebrity Big Brother yourself, if you had the choice? I would love to. I, cool. I'm a big fan and I'd love to be in there with them right now. OK, cool. So who, who's been your favourite housemate? Obviously, it must be Shirley. Yeah, I mean, Brian, he makes me laugh, you know. Yeah. He, he's very, very comical. Um, but I like Helen as well, because she's dappy, she's funny. It's because she's Welsh, isn't it, Liz? Yeah, she's Welsh. That's the reason why you like her, because she's a country Yeah, woman. I like her. OK, and Stuart and Paul up for eviction. Who are you going to be voting for? Well, I've already voted. Really? Yeah, I voted for Stuart. Did you? Well, I just think, you know, he's got a wife and kids and, and you know... the. Adult, that's no the reason for him to be evicted. ...a bit more exciting. OK, cool. And on yeah. average, how many hours a day do you reckon you watch Big Brother? Oh, um, I don't know. Day and night, really. I'm do you? Fast. Really? Is it, is it that mad? <laughs> OK, you've got some lovely presents for Brian as well, haven't you? Bless you. Thank you for these. You're welcome. We have a photograph from you and the gang and, and what looks like every single uh, CD you've ever actually made. So when yep, he comes out of the house, right. he's going to be so excited. I uh, know, I hope so. I wish I could, you know, give them to him personally, but, you know, maybe we'll meet another time. OK, but you, you watch a lot of Big Brother, right? I do, I love Thank you very much for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. Take care, have a lovely time, You're Lisa. You're welcome. Bye-bye, Bye, -bye, Bye lots of love. OK, so uh, at least they're saying that she's watched uh, maybe too much Big Brother. We've also got an email here. I think I, I, I've actually uh, been watching too much Big Brother, a bit too much. I'm starting to run out of excuses to tell my boss as to why I'm not able to return to work for another 45 days. Lots of love, Sam Morris. Thank you very much, Sam. <laughs> slightly worried about you. That's actually certifiable behaviour. So we want to hear about your certifiable behaviour. Uh, our talking point today is you know you've watched too much Big Brother when... Blank. Dun, 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 dun. Up for grabs, ladies and gentlemen, is the Brian handprint before he went in there. Look, he's got quite big, manly-sized hands, it has to be said. God bless him. And uh, our favourite email will win that wonderful uh, handprint. 0870-901-9070. Little brother at e4.com. But now, let's throw caution to the wind and speak to Penny in the gallery. Oh, hi. Well, we've got Helen Hawkins, senior producer. It's wonderful to see you again. Please tell us, what's the mood been like since the nominations? Well, um, both Stuart and Paul were really surprised to be nominated, yeah. even though they tried to pretend they were cool about it. So they were a bit anxious. Obviously, mm. there's been quite a bit of rivalry between Stuart and Josh, particularly on the suntan oh, front. Right. And then this morning, everything was a bit tense because they had the uh, resolve of their task. They were tested. Okay. And um, Helen thought she was going to fail big she time. Was she well. was really anxious. But yeah. she did brilliantly. She yeah. sailed through it. And in fact, right. Josh the perfect Josh, who everyone thought was absolutely wonderful, oh. failed. I and think so. Helen's surprising herself, yeah, isn't she? He, yeah, she really did. Wow. Um, so it was all down, really, to Paul and Stuart, who are the two who've been nominated, because oh, they obviously at the end of the alphabet. Oh, it's um, how Paul looked is really, that? really anxious. Oh, he so wanted to get it right, right. and uh, and Stuart was pretty laid back. But they they passed with flying colours, so they're Brilliant. very, very relieved about. Well, on that. a lighter note, what's the party update? What's that been like? They've given Brian the bumps. Oh, they've good. baked cookies oh. for him. They've put candles on cakes, yeah. and they <laughs> just this second um, had roast beef sent in. Oh, for their gorgeous, supper. Gorgeous. So we think they've also got six bottles of red wine and four bottles of champagne. Ah. So if I think, you know, might, they might something get, might happen. Well, you never know. And I that hope jacuzzi get, again? Who knows? You might get a birthday <laughs> kiss. That would okay. be great. OK, OK, well, over to Dermot. OK. Hey, gringos, it's Brian's birthday. <laughs> We spent all our budget on the streamers the first time around, so we haven't got any, so people just have to cheer this time around. OK, now we've received stacks of emails in support of Brian. Um, this one says, hi, uh, is there any way you could throw together some clips of Brian screaming like a girl? Because it always makes us laugh. That's from Jason and Catriona. Well, especially for you, Jason and Catriona, and all Brian fans, here are those said mentioned clips. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless him. 
little thing. And he's got, I remember you, you that. said to me he's got some rotten teeth at the moment, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm worried about him because his throat's getting a bit croaky mm. and he's got a little bit of a rotten tooth at the back. I hope they're oh, going to deal with him. it. Okay, our talking so... point today, ladies and gentlemen, is you know you've watched too much Big Brother. When? When? Blank. When? When? Uh, uh, Text of emails. Uh, 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 Nicky in Birmingham, you know you watch too much Big Brother. When? You know every answer to today's task and you can answer any of the questions uh, when the housemates test each other. That's pretty good. I'm nice really touch. worried about this That's one. Worrying. Leslie, you know you've been watching too much Big Brother when you forget to go to your GCSE maths exam like I did because you're so hooked on Big Brother. She That's would get pretty... so detention if you were her teacher. Wouldn't she? Yes, she would. She'd be would. in detention now. Would, in fact, I would, would suspend her. We've got Rupert uh -oh. on the line. All right, Rupert. Hello. How are you? I'm very, very well, thank you. Take it by the tone of your voice. I probably shouldn't have abbreviated your name to Rupert. <laughs> um, uh, yes, it is sorry Rupert. Sorry about that. Rupert, uh, you know you've watched too much Big Brother when? Uh, you grab a chair, sit in the closet and conduct a deep and meaningful with the wall. Ah. Hmm. Have you done that? I, I have many times, yeah. <laughs> Good, Rupert. It's slightly worrying. Uh, <laughs> you may well win you a handprint. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. See here. Oops. He just wrapped us, didn't he? Thank you. Oh. Phone down. I'm off. <laughs> OK, Marie uh, in Surrey, you assemble a chicken coop in the corner of your garden, dress your cat up in feathers, then oh, shut no. it in with a stern... Now, lay me some eggs! <laughs> I like the idea of doing yeah. that to my cat. Andrew from Birmingham's on the line. Hey, Andrew. Hi, Dermot. Or Drew. I'm abbreviating everyone's name today. Uh, you know you watch too much Big Brother when? Well, I was in absolute tears when Brian had to give up Mr Cat to yeah. bear. That was terrible. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. You know you watch too much Big Brother when you're crying that one of the contestants had to give up inanimate objects. <laughs> you know. Yeah, no, no, that's, that's true. You, you have been watching too much Big Brother. Yeah. Turn off now. Do you do something more interesting instead? No, don't really. Thanks a lot, mate. Oh, he's Bye. gone. <laughs> After the break, uh, stories of Kim uh, Farnell will be mapping out the fate of our three housemates. But first, Penny, tell us something we don't know. Uh, well, bubble ran out of bubble bath um, the day that I left the Big Brother house. No, that looks so cool. Give me that. Oh, Ooh, you're freaking me out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Big Brother's Little Brother's Day 20. Uh, the sh the uh, house at the moment's reeling from the shock of the nominations for Paul and Stuart. We can take a look right now about what's going on in the house. As you can see, the rest of the housemates obviously aren't reeling too much. I won't shush. You shush, Elizabeth. <laughs> It's my show, it's not yours, all right? No, no <laughs> need, and it's no use shaking your head at, no, it's no, and don't give me that coy look. In fact, you can turn up, what a young lady, I'm having less of that. Lovely. Don't fall off, I'll have to pay for it. OK, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the big dilemma, of course, was it's Brian's 23rd birthday. Hey, everybody. Hey. And uh, he, had a, he had a dilemma as to whether he would give up his beloved Mr Cow yes. and his beloved Mr Bear. Uh, Mr. What? Ted, Mr. Bear. No, Mr. Mr. Bear. Yes. Lovely. Okay, for a lovely big party. Two parties, in fact. One uh, went off today uh, at uh, 4:35. A lovely uh, teddy bear's picnic, and he's having another lovely big roast dinner later on tonight. That's what the guys are getting ready for because he gave the stuff up, being the selfless man that he is. Yes. Now, this is a wonderful. Uh, yesterday. Um, at Stansted Airport, Brian's employers, Ryanair, paid tribute, and what a tribute with a good luck message to Brian. Take a look yeah. at this. Wasn't that lovely? He's so loved. I love you, Brian. Everyone loves you. I hope you feel that vibe. Feel that vibe. It's from all of us. OK, well, we've got some more... We'll have more messages for Brian later on in the show. But today's talking point, remember, is you know you've watched too much Big Brother when... And I've got some really, really good emails here. You lock yourself in your own house, unplug the TV, radio and telephone and shut all the windows up and you get your neighbours to videotape your every move. I'm sure some people out there do that, but that's from Daniel, age 16. That's really creative. But, Daniel, don't try that at home, please. OK, this is really great. You get up late, pick your nose, stab a few people in the back while looking forward to a good old game of ping-pong after a bowl of porridge. Well, we all know who you're talking about, Gavin, don't we now? So, thank you. And finally, you know you're watching too much Big Brother when you're sitting up watching at 3.20 in the morning. Good on you, everyone that does that, in the hope that somebody might fart or scratch their backside, Poppy. <laughs> I'm sure you won't be disappointed in the, in the near-too-distant future. But anyway, call us or email us. The numbers are on the screen now. And the best one will win. And I'm very happy to have this here because I've missed Brian so much, so I get to feel like I hold his hand. There we are. So you can win this handprint of Brian. And I want this so much, I can't tell you. And um, there we go. So please, over to Dermot.
Please over to Dermot. Not many women have ever said that to me. Uh, we now know that Stuart and uh, Paul's face decided by the hands of the British public on Friday, but we didn't want that to happen, so we invited astrologer Kim Farnell to take a closer look at how their astrological charts could affect Friday's outcome. Welcome to Big Brother's Hi. Little Brother. Good to have you with us. Uh, how exactly does astrology work? I know everyone probably thinks they know, but I know I don't. Well, basically what we do is we calculate where the, where the planets were at the time, date and place of birth, work out what signs rising on the eastern horizon, draw them all in a nice wheel like this, and that gives the whole life story for what, us. What's, what's the eastern horizon? The sign that rises on the east, that gives you your rising sign. I see. So like, it says Paul is a Pisces. Okay. Okay, he's a, he's a Sun Aries, which means he probably reads Aries in the horoscope columns, but what, he's what, more what of a Pisces. Does, what does a Sun Aries mean? Outgoing, bit bossy, but, but, wants things his way. So is he a Pisces or an Aries? It's both. The mask he wears is a Pisces. He's Whoa! A, he's a lot more romantic that, on the surface. But I don't understand it, him. Then. Back off a second. <laughs> it, if, if he, I mean, what, what star sign is he? Like, if he was going to read his column, it, as, in, as in where he was born, is he a Pisces or an Aries? He'd do just as well reading the Pisces column. Oh, really? OK, yep. cool. Now, uh, we've given you information for Paul, like we said. Yep. Uh, you've got his astrological chart. How do you think he's going to be feeling sort of up to the nomination? Mixed feelings, because he likes being in the, in the limelight, so it's been shoved straight at the front, everyone's looking at him, he likes that side of it, but he doesn't like being rejected, he's not too good about that. And the worst thing is that if other people know he's being rejected, they know other people might not like him, that's what we really buy. Really? Yeah. But isn't that with everyone, or...? More so with him. Really? Okay, and in the next possible, in the next couple of weeks, let's say, for the sake of argument, he does get evicted, I mean, how are his stars going to uh, reflect his, his attitude and, and his behaviour? I mean, how do you think he'll... Uh, well, on Friday, he's due for some sort of disappointment. Whether that means he's going to be evicted or not is a different matter. But on the Saturday, he does a bit of sweet talking, which can win people over, so things are going to go quite well for him there. And on the 22nd, he suddenly becomes a lot more sexually attractive. What, how so, does that happen? What, what, what's the, with the configuration? Right, the planet Venus yeah. actually hits off the planet Mars, which is to do with sex in his chart, okay. which makes him a lot more attractive for that short period. So whether he gets thrown out of the house or not, he's going to have a good time around then. Oh, nice touch. OK, now, uh, Stuart looked shocked when he heard he'd been nominated. Uh, his chart, which is shown here, uh, show any indication of how he deals with, reje with rejection? It's even worse at dealing with rejection really? than Paul, yeah, because he's, he thinks he's got his feelings well hidden. He wants to keep them buried. He doesn't want people to know what he feels about things. But in reality, he wears his heart on his sleeve and people can see that he's upset. So what star sign Stuart? He's got a son in Aquarius. He's an Aquarian, but he's got Capricorn rising, which is a bit reserved, holds back a bit, doesn't want people to know what, everything about him. Takes a while to get to know people. What does the sun in Aquarius mean? I mean, in that respect? It means they do, uh, those sort of people do better in groups rather than on their own. Pretty mm. sociable animals, okay. like getting on with people. I have to say, the gods are not smiling on us right now. <laughs> in fact, they're <laughs> sending down a veritable tsunami to cast eyes us about going through this. And of course, uh, finally, it's uh, lovely Brian's birthday today. Uh, you're able to make any predictions about it. I tell you what, his little angles there He's look a lot yet. more at ease than both Paul's and Stuart's, I have well, to say. He's, he's got less of them. What does that mean? Um, it doesn't mean anything in itself oh. so much. It makes his chart a bit easier to read because there's a lot less permutations to go through. But um, it's pretty evenly spread around the chart, which is quite a good thing. Because that gives him fingers in a lot of different pies. Sure. Now, why is he evenly spread around the chart? And, and what will that reflect in the next couple of weeks? Uh, well, he's fairly introverted compared to the others because most of the planets are below, rather than above the line. Uh, camping out like there's no uh, tomorrow. That's surface stuff. Is it? Yeah, because he's got Aries on the Ascendant. Like I said, it's the mask. That's what he shows. But scratch the surface and the mask falls off. The Aries on the Ascent is the Ascendant. mask. Ascendant. It's the mask. It's the mask. It's his mask. That's what he shows. That's what you see superficially. That's how he puts himself over. But once people get to know him better, he's not that upfront. Will he's, you... There's a lot he's not giving away. Really? Do you think he'll lose his mask? Depends whether he has a chance to get to know the others really well. OK. It takes a while. OK, and, and uh, out of these three, I mean, who do you think has the, the best chance of winning in relation to, uh, you know, their star signs, in relation to what, whatever's rising and, and how they right. interact with Right, I'm not the sure about who has the best chance of winning, but when it comes to who's likely to stay in at the end of the week, uh, Paul has a better chance. You think so? Yeah. OK, thank you very much. Please do come okay. in again, because that's Thanks. totally freaking me out and I'm enjoying <laughs> it very much. OK, it's Brian's special day, however, Kim. It's not yours, it's Brian's, right? right? There's nothing you can do about it. So we have some personal birthday messages for him from his trolley dolly colleagues. Oh, yes. Take a look at this. Happy birthday to you. I'd just like to say, Brian, good luck. Um, we're all behind you and we hope you win. 
And I just want to say happy birthday to him for a Wednesday. I just want to wish Brian a brilliant happy birthday and wish him the best for the future. Here's happy birthday and uh, I'm sure he's going to be the winner. Happy birthday! Hooray! Happy birthday! Hooray, hooray, hooray! Happy birthday, happy birthday! We love you! Okay, welcome. We've been asked you, asking you to complete our talking points today and it is, as you know, We've, if you've watched too much Big Brother, you know you've watched too much Big Brother when every time you swear at home you hear train noises. Oh, that was excellent from Matt. That is absolutely fantastic. And this one's pretty cool. Hiya. I know my mum has been watching too much Big Brother when she rang me at work today to say that Josh was in the sham picking the blackheads off his shoulders. Oh, well, Suze, oh, Brian loves oh, picking oh. spots. He picked a few of mine while I was in there. So, you know, he's up for a treat with Josh then. And Adam, you've got to hear this one. You know you've watched too much Big Brother when you wake up with a hangover and a Mohican. Well, I was fast asleep when they cut all of Bubbles' hair off and woke up with... That it was a really, it, I that, was Penny. really shocked. Yeah. I didn't think he'd do that actually. He's shocked to hear we've got Donna from Somerset on the line. Oh, okay, Donna. Hi, 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 Penny. Oh, hello. Hi, Donna. You know uh, you watched too much Big Brother when? When? When you subconsciously buy straws in the supermarket for Brian. Shut Brian. up! Did you do that? Did you? Well, luckily I realised before I got to the checkout, but I was in the supermarket yeah. and I saw some straws and I said to my friend. Oh, I've got to get some straws. Who wants straws? Who wants straws? And then I realised that when they were doing the shopping list and they were arguing about whether they were going to buy cider or not, Brian said, I'll have cider, but I have to have some straws. So yeah, I went and bought, oh. nearly bought some straws for oh, him. Oh, bless her. That's you lovely, Donna. I had to have a bit of a reality check there. Yeah. Well, no, absolutely. And but Penny will understand. I'm a teacher, so my brain is kind of frazzled. Yeah, it does. get scrambled, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay. God. Well, Thank you very much. Good on you. We should, we should have Karen from Merseyside on the yeah. line as well. Hello. Hi, Hello. Karen. Hi. I've got a three-year-old little boy who yeah. knows all the names of the housemates and he does impressions of Penny and Helen. Is he there? Oh. Can you hear me? Yes. Is he yeah, there? Do you want to do it? Okay, so hang on. This is oh, Josh, yeah. my little boy. Make him do an impression Hello. of Penny. Hello. Say hello to Penny. Hello, Hi, Penny. Hello, I do John. Penny's impression. Okay. In the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the kitchen. Oh, this is yours, my little baby. Take oh, care. Yeah. Thank you very much, Karen, oh, from the other side. All the friends and family Thank on tomorrow. Take care. God bless. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, BBLB's back tomorrow at 7 and E4's live to the Big Brother house tonight at 10 past 11. Next up, Jamie's a puppy dog in As If.